hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're an old subscriber if you're new to this channel or you're a new subscriber Wazo, you're welcome my name is Henrietta in this video we are going to be talking about college roommates okay I'm going to give you the types of roommates and basically a little bit of my experience in this two and a half year and um some advices on how to tolerate those kind of roommates okay so this video is going to be in two parts okay this is the part one and you should all watch out for the part two so guys if you know me already that's personally or you know me through youtube um you know that i attend the university of professional studies accra ghana which is also known as upsa so um if you're going to book a hostel and you're going to book it online normally you do not know your roommates okay but when you are booking the university of professional studies hostel which is upsa hostel um after you successfully book they will give you a little detail about your roommate but mind you you do not know their character so you meet them in person and that is the stress that is an anxiety and that can be a lot of trouble like you'll be thinking about it and you are praying and hoping that you'll be happy it's not easy my also i'm in my final year at the university of professional studies and so i have a little bit of experience about roommates and um this is not going to be a detailed um experience of mine if you want to know the details on how what i went through how my other roommates also like the whole thing is just complicated so if you want to know about that let me know in the comment section if not i'm not going to share it okay i move on to talk about the various types of roommates okay firstly i want to talk about the lazy roommates okay Lazy roommates in a sense that they do not help. They don't want to help around. They do not want to clean. They don't want to mop. They don't want to scrub. Not even help you with that thing. Guys, sis, bro, you meet them, okay? You can, you, the one watching me, might be the one. Just change for the better, okay? It doesn't take you anything to help clean your own room, okay? This kind of people to tolerate them you do the cleaning okay just make sure you don't do it every day to stress to stress yourself okay so you can just pick some few days in the week and then um you do the scrubbing on maybe saturdays or sundays okay so moving on to the second type of roommate we have the noisy roommates okay the noise makers this category of roommate do not like silence okay it is it is like something they are very used to they play loud music very early in the morning they they make they literally talk very loud i don't know what they want you to to gain from this but just avoid them, okay? If you approach them to tell them that they are noisy, they should reduce the volume of this and that and that, and they, don't, they do not want to heed to your advice, sis, it's not a fight, okay? The world is so big that you can go anywhere else to um, have your peace of mind. I know it's very, it doesn't make sense, but you want to be happy. So that is how you treat this, okay? So the third type of roommate is um, the runaway roommate, okay? The runaway roommates can be so interesting, especially if they are the ones who make trouble in the room. They are the ones who don't help you with anything. Like, they are the ones who you do not even want to have around. So if they are away, you're, you're good. Like, your day is blessed, Okay, they are the roommates that when they book their hostel, you see them like five times in the semester or like three times in the semester. So it's not your business. If they are out, just be happy. But if they are the ones who are very good, like my level 100 roommate, 
I was very happy with her and oh, we miss that a lot. So if they are this kind of roommates, you want them around, but you cannot, okay? You cannot block them from doing whatever they want to do. It's not your business, okay? So the fourth, so I'm looking on a paper for my points, girl, you know me, so... <laughs> The fourth point is, uh, the fourth type of roommates is the dream breakers or the party goers or the uh, late comers, whatever you call them, okay? These are the people when you are sleeping and trying to be comfortable in your dream, not your sleep, -o. when you are trying to be comfortable in your dream, then they come knocking on the door very late or very very early in the morning and it's very annoying you know to tolerate these people you have to tell them because you cannot be in your room and not lock the door security reasons is not um safe okay lock the door but tell them to be on time if they are not on time if you keep on telling them like three or four times and they don't hear sis lock the door and sleep if the knocking is even irritating your ears, just close your eyes and avoid them. Teach them a little bit of lesson. If they don't learn from it, then your roommates have a problem, okay? It's not easy. Just, I want you to, to know that you meet this kind of people, okay? The last one for this part of what I'm going to talk about is um, your tie. That is the good ones, okay? Maybe you, we might meet a roommate who is just like you. Sometimes we find it so comfortable because we can approach them and we can deal with them. Not like deal with them, like fight them or something, but they are like you. And so you don't see anything wrong with it, okay? You don't see them um, as, a, as a hindrance or as a, as a pain. No, you see them to be normal because they are just like you. And we have the good one. That is if I'm talking to you, the bad one. Not necessarily you are the bad one, but I'm just saying. Okay, so if you meet the good one and she's cleaning the room, she's tidy up, she's tidy up and she's, she's very good, then you are happy, okay? There is this 99% chance of meeting this kind of roommate, okay? They do not even help you with dusting, yet they bring friends to the room. They do things that might cause all of you to even be sacked. If you have a timetable, you don't go according to it. Why do you even have a timetable in the first place? The fighters, nothing you say makes brings peace in the room. This is when you meet roommates who think the room is for only them, knowing they have booked for in a room. 